Hello dearies, welcome or welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing wonderfully well. So one of you requested, I find platforms where you can learn some of the courses in nursing school for free because some of the platforms out there are quite pricey because of the exchange rates in our country. So I went on a hunt and it was not an easy hunt, but I caught one meat for you. <laughs> So I stumbled upon this website called Khan Academy. It's a website that teaches a lot of subjects for free, but the, I found one on human anatomy and physiology, which is very beneficial to nurses and midwives. And the way they teach the class is so simple, so easy to grasp, so easy to follow. And I decided why not share it with you because who else am I going to share it with? So if you know anybody who is going to any health training school, because we are going to train as a nurse, a midwife, nutrition officer, any health program, you will learn anatomy and physiology. So this is one video I really, really, really want you to share because it's free. So share it with somebody else, okay? So without talking so much, because you know me, I like to talk so much. Let's dive in, okay? There's a link in my... There's a link in the description box below. Click on it and it will take you to the platform. So let's go to my screen. So when you click on the link, it will take you to the human anatomy and physiology site. They have a lot of other programs. So if you're watching me and you're a parent from, I think from grade one, that class one up to SHS, they teach a lot of courses mass and all of that so your children can benefit from it so yeah so this is the page it's free it's 100 percent free okay so you can sign up here so that you can keep uh, your progress okay whatever you are learning you'll be able to uh, keep uh, they'll keep the progress you are making for you so when you come here, you are a learner. So uh, let's see, my date of uh, birth, so months. Some of you are eager to see when I was born. Oh, what crap. <laughs> ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Let me see, I'm 22 years old. So you can either continue with Google or with Facebook or Apple ID or even just type in your email so from, I want to continue with Google so I'll just take my email address and everything is done I just wanted to show you this process okay I already have an account so I will not be signing up and it's a free website but you can also donate so out of the benevolence of your heart if you choose to donate you can do so on the platform so you can donate from $12 to 20 30 50 whatever amount you want to donate but if you don't feel like donating that's okay too okay all right so the good thing about the platform is that they have or everything and the anatomy that you'll be doing in anatomy most of the things in anatomy you'll be doing is on this platform so the cardiovascular system the respiratory urinary system hematologic system that's the blood immunologic system and all of that and you see quizzes under each um under each system so you you can practice your uh, exam taking skills while well, they even have on pregnancy and pregnancy complications oh i didn't know that yeah so plenty Okay, so let me play, let's say this is the cardiovascular system. One thing I also want you to know is that this platform or other platforms that you use as learning platforms are supposed to be supplementary resources. They, they do not take the place of your lectures or your um, class work, okay? So you still have to go to class and then use these platforms as an additional resource in learning in doing your assignments your presentations and all of that so don't say that say they're in anatomy class in team main core class with you no 
not missing classes will also affect you in nursing school so don't do that okay I really like this picture that I found. It actually shows you really neatly where the heart sits in our body. So you can see the heart is surrounded. So it takes you, like um, this, right? And in fact, I didn't draw it in yet. Say a little toe. Yeah, size. Let's say the here, a toe courses size. or the lectures are here, so simple and easy to follow. And, and, and most of the times, a little blood vessel. In fact, every cell in our body. Most of the times, um, the lecturer is drawing whilst talking so it's like step by step it's easy for you to follow whatever he is teaching and it's so easy okay it's, it's so easy and then if you want you can click on transcript and everything he's saying you can see down here so here you can see the spelling of some of the words and all of that and if you also click on the screen and you turn on caption you will see the writings on the um, video itself. Some of us like watching videos with caption. Whatever you say, we don't care, okay? All right, so that is that about the videos. And when you scroll down under each video, you see questions that other people ask and they clarify it here. So that can also be an extra learning point for you. Um, what I want us to do, let's look at the questions. Okay, so for the quizzes, we have introductory, intermediate, when you are feeling a little confident, and advanced when you feel like what being in the topic you've already taken. So you can start with the introductory level. And what I want to show you under this uh, is the style of questioning in nursing school. In nursing school, there are um, the way they set up their questions are different. Okay, so let's see. Oh, I didn't read the question. Said, in the hot summer sun, what would an arterial located under the surface of Linda's skin look like if the image shows a normally dilated arterial? Uh, I would say B. Let's see if B is correct. Oh, B is correct. Next question. Um, it, that, look at this picture like after taking the class on the heart when you come here you see that you try to this picture will try to help you remember what you learned so it, it's the graphics it's nice it's easy to grasp it's not overwhelming and all of that so structure is a, i didn't read your question use this image to answer the following questions so structure number 10 is b structure number 10 is b eight eight um yeah which of the following statements is the major function of this structure the other carries being oxygenated blood to the body tissue yeah it carries blood from the body to the other aspect of the body all right uh -huh. match the labeled numbers to their structures so number one is the superior vena cava um number six number six is the tricuspid valve wow. is that no number six is the left ventricle <laughs> come yet number nine where's number nine number nine is the right atrium number 10 is the ureter we've already talked about that and then number 12 is the tricuspid tricuspid valve yeah good i got it ah yeah yeah, yeah. uh-huh i think this is one of the questions i'm looking for so in nursing school you'll be asked questions and be asked to choose all that apply these are some of the questions that you can use to practice because most times we shy away from those questions, but you have to learn to face them and try to get them correctly. Okay. So an example is this question. Um, 
The tennis player in the image above is working very hard on the court. In general, what is the function of a heart? So what's, what are the functions of the heart? To detoxify blood, no. To ensure that oxygen is constant is to detoxify blood, no. To ensure that oxygen is constantly supplied to body tissues like hematoids, yes. To create red blood cells through hematopoiesis, no. That's the function of the bone. To pump blood throughout the body, yes. To oxygenate, to oxygenate the blood while removing, no. That's the function of the lungs. To deliver deoxygenated blood to the lungs, yes. To generate ATP for muscle activity, you know. So I would say I've chosen all that I've planned. And I'm correct. Look at that. <laughs> this is easy. Easy, easy. So yeah. Mm. In the image below, the doctor hears the laughed up sound of the patient's heartbeat through his stethoscope. Which of the following actions creates the laughed up sounds we hear? The opening of the valve, the contraction of the heart is the closing of the valves. Yay! I like. <laughs> okay, so that is that. So when you sign up and you log, uh, when you sign up, it saves all the progress you are making, and yeah, it will, uh, it makes learning easy. Like I said, it does not replace your normal lectures in school. So you still have to go to class and then use this platform as an additional resource for your other things, studying, assignments, presentations, and all of that. And my search continues if I find more because I'm looking for platforms where you can learn pharmacology and uh, medicine, at least those two. Yeah, I'll bring them to you, okay? I hope this video was helpful. Like it, share, and subscribe if you've not done that yet. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.